Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast review. This one here is going to be Mark Martin's number two uh, G and G Trucking Chevy Camaro. I think it's a Camaro. I have to look. Um, this is a 2000 manufacture date of a 1983 Firebird. Sorry, not a Camaro. It's a Firebird. Uh, there you can see it. One of 5,940. Uh, standard 2000 box. Uh, really nothing super crazy on there. It does come with a sleeve for the Extreme Series. Uh, I had to take a drink there. And um, yeah, not much else than that. So that's all the boxing. Let's get on to the fun stuff. So on this car, uh, Mark Martin number two, first of all. Um, let's take that. That's pretty neat. Uh, we've got our all chrome wheels. We've got our baby blue followed by blue and yellow down the side here. Nice number two. Very nice detail on the window net. Uh, down the rest of the side here, another chrome wheel. In through the back, this is one of those Camaros, or not Camaros, uh, Firebirds, but they have the same detail. Um, very similar body styles here. So down the right side, chrome wheel. We've got our different tubing. Then over here we've got the number two, G&G Trucking. More chrome wheels. And then we get over to the front. So there's our front end. That's the Firebird. Looks a lot like those Camaros from the Dale Earnhardt and Kelly Earnhardt cars, or the Dale Earnhardt Jr. cars. Uh, motor looks very, very similar. So it's the same series, same details, things like that. Um, then we got Jeffers. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Jeff Jeffries. Okay, there we go. Jeffries Custom Unlimited. Uh, couldn't hardly read it going the wrong way. Uh, Goodyear up there on the windshield banner. And then uh, let's take a look inside the car. So inside the car, we've got some red seat belts inside the seat. Hard to see. There's our detail for the cab and some other things. But as you look in, maybe I can get it from the top here. If I get the right lighting. Boom, there you see it. Nice red seat belts um, on that racing seat there. Steering wheel does turn with the posable wheels. So it is, uh, is attached. And then we got a mirror in there as well. So some really neat details to this car, honestly. It's it's really pretty cool. Um, you go from the underneath side, pretty good detail there. Not red chassis, it's a white chassis. But um, just in general, this these kind of cars are pretty neat. Um, again, they were before my time, so there's definitely a little less interest than, say, someone who got to see these race in their prime. But it's still a really neat car. Um, I've got, this one will be hitting eBay. Uh, I was able to keep a couple of Martins that uh, were missing boxes or missing parts uh, but I'll show you those in a later review um, but yeah this one unfortunately was just one I, I was like well if I had to if I had to pick four or three in this case uh, it wasn't in the top three so um, you know it'll be out there it's, it's a cool car and if for, especially for someone who collects these uh, these this series of cars is, is really neat um, I'm getting to see quite a few of them between the Allen Quickies uh, Mark Martins, Dale Earnhardt Jr. had a couple. Um, we've got two more. One's a Daryl Waltrip. One's a uh, Tim Richmond. Those are Pepsi schemes. Uh, hell, I'll get to be get to those here in a little bit. And then there's a couple of Rusty Wallaces in there. So I mean, it is cool. I've you know I've gotten to see quite a few of them at this point. Um, so it's been really neat to get to see those. But uh, yeah, it just won't be the, the top fit in my collection. So. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to cut this review pretty short. There's really not much else to see. Um, you know, it's, uh, in general, just a, a pretty neat car. Uh, just not my, not going to be my top car. There, that's just unfortunately not, uh, the situation. So, uh, anyway, this has been Race Craze. Thank you for all the support. Leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. Uh, my uploads are a little sporadic at the moment. I'm going to Chicago next weekend, so I'm going to hammer out reviews this week. Get as many as I can done, and then um, that way I can make room for uh, some Chicago-related stuff for uh, next week. So um, hopefully I'll have some videos of the racing, going to all three races next weekend, going to the truck race that night, as that's when I'll get down to Chicago, and then I'll be at the track all day Saturday and Sunday morning, and then driving back Sunday night. So it uh, should be a real fun weekend. I'm really excited for that. It's going be, gonna to be a lot of fun, I think, so... Uh, Chicago does a pretty good job. I do like uh, their night races. Uh, their night races are really good as far as weather. And then also, it's nice to have all day Sunday to drive. But then you can only do two races that weekend. So, um, you know, it's hit and miss. Hopefully next year, if they do the same thing and the truck series isn't involved, they can just move it back. Because uh, Sunday races are fun, but Saturday night takes a cake. I mean, it is just, you can get to the track at 3 p.m., hang out all day at the track doing stuff, and then... 
you sit on back for the race at six or seven o'clock. Race is over. You go back to your hotel or your your house or wherever you're at. And if you're got a if you traveled, and then uh, when you're heading back, drive back to your home on Sunday. So uh, very, it's really really nice. Race traffic's good as far as getting out because all the campers are staying. Uh, they don't all have to try and get out at the same time, so that helps a lot too. But uh, hopefully that'll happen next year. I, I really enjoy night races. So if you've never been to a night race, you you gotta find one. They're they're really great. Uh, look for a Saturday night or even a Memorial Day race um, because those are or Memorial Day slash Labor Day. Those are always great too to have those on Sunday night where uh, you have no Monday. So anyway, before I ramble on too long, this has been Race Craze. We'll see you in the next video.